Rick Sarandria. Here. Phil Roger. Ed Dalton here. Where's my paperwork with the public here? Roger Mitchell. Gary Swingo. Here. Jeff Franson. Here. Jim Crow. Here. Where's the paperwork for the public hearing? Ground rules. Okay, ground rules. Thank you. Oh, Dad. Just yeah. trying to get overtime. Okay, I'm going to read the ground rules for this for this uh, public hearing tonight. Uh, the, app the applicant and their representative will make their formal presentation to the board stating their specific hardship and precisely why this merits a variance from the zoning regulations of the town of Watertown. All comments, discussions, and observations shall be made through the chair after proper recognition by the chairman. This is necessary to ensure only one person at a time speak on any issue, thus making it easier for everyone to understand and for clearer legal trans transcription. All persons addressing the board shall begin by first clearly stating their name and address for the record. If necessary, the person may be asked to spell his or her name for the record. Following the presentation of the application, the Zoning Board of Appeals will ask specific questions of the applicant. After the board has asked it, its questions of the applicant, I shall then allow any members of the public who wish to speak in favor of this application or against it to address the board. I should then allow the applicant to respond to the comments of the members of the general public. I shouldn't allow any members of the general public who wish to present any additional information or clarify in discussion to do so at that time. I shall then provide an opportunity for the applicant to respond to these additional remarks if they or their representative so wishes. The Zoning Board of Appeals has 35 days from the date the public hearing commences to complete the public hearing. The board may ask the applicant for a 35-day extension of the public hearing period if the board requires any additional information or wishes to schedule a site walk to observe the situation for themselves. The Zoning Board of Appeals has 65 days from the date when the public hearing is closed to render its decision. The board may or may not make its decision tonight at its regular meeting following the public hearing. You may stay for the regular <coughs> meeting if you wish, or you may leave at the end of the public hearing and, at, and contact the zoning office the following morning to determine the status of your application. Um, let's see now. We have full board, no. Do you want to see the alternates, Mr. Chairman? Uh, I can see them both? Yes. Okay. Uh, no, there was three alternates tonight, but who you wanna see? We have uh, two. You know what? I'm gonna give Jim a shot at it. Okay. So I'll have him sit in for, I'll have you sit in for Phil. And uh, Gary, seeing that you've been absent for a long time, I'll have you sit in for who's us oh, all, um, Roger Mitchell. Roger Mitchell. Okay. And I can sit, Jeff, too? No, no that's, that's it. it. Okay. Continue on. Okay. Uh, the applicant is a continuance, continuous, continuance of a public hearing from the October 25th, 2023, for the application 2023 3 of Anthony LaPointe for a variance of six feet to the side yard, to side property line setback for construction of a 14 foot by 20 foot attached garage to be located 19 feet from the side property line at 115 Wolf Hill Road, Watertown in an R70 re residential zoning district. Um, do we need to re read the legal notice? Yeah. No, there is no legal notice. This no. is the continuation yeah. of the public hearing. Okay. Um, is there anyone here to re represent the applicant? You want to come up and state your name and address for the record? How about the uh, legal notice, Musa? You did it last month. So we're all set? Yes, you are set. Rosa, can you turn on that microwave? Did that work? Oh, good. Uh, Anthony LaPointe, uh, 115 Wolf Hill Road. Uh, you want me to start over with the uh, hardship, or you want me to just... Well, that would be good to put that on the record, sure. Okay. Uh, so, putting in a garage, and it's going to be on, obviously, uh, what would that be? Um, you know, the only flat portion of property that I actually own. So, <clears throat> the side of the house, the driveway would come up to it. If I put it anywhere else, unfortunately, the way the property slopes away it would just add significant cost as well. It's not really conducive how it goes through the house. But 
Um, looking for a third bay garage. Obviously, you've seen a lot of the theft that's been going on, so I'm just looking for more room. I got a tractor I want to put away, and then it would just be a bonus room above it as well that my wife works from home, so she has a place to kind of hide from the kids. Um, but in terms of um, uh, where it is, if I put it on the other side of the house, again, the slope is terrible, but it's also um, conservation land on that side, plus a pool, I got a deck. But um, I don't know if you have any questions other than that, but. Okay, now this was the property that was gonna be close to an empty lot? Uh, currently it is empty. There's a for sale sign out there. I don't know what's going on with it, but it's been for sale since I've been there, so I don't know. <clears throat> I imagine it will sell eventually. So, let's see. It's Plus, actually, yeah, yeah. So technically, he's got a what? A topo problem. Seriously, there's no yeah. other. There's no other place to put this. The wells on that side. Too. Yeah. Plus, it drops right off. Drops right off. Right off. Yeah, I place. definitely got the worst, the worst property on that entire road. <laughs> Anybody have any comments? I think the only thing that we were waiting for the last time that Jim pointed out was the card for the property adjacent to his. That's right. Did you get that? Uh, I did. I got two of them. One was for Young's Farm across the road, and then uh, Ron Wolf, who owns the property, the vacant property next to me. Oh, great. Okay. <clears throat> Mr., is there anything you'd like to add? or? No, Mr. Chairman, I think if you remember at the last meeting after the gentleman explained his hardship, the board members were agree with him on the hardship. The only reason that you continued the public hearing because he didn't notify two of the neighbors. And that is why if I state the statutes, we couldn't make a decision. And now that he did, I think I don't have any additional comment. Okay. Anybody else got anything they'd like to ask or add? Or we're all set. A motion. Thank you. Thank Is that you. A motion to close. I'll, I'll, mo I'll make a motion to close the hearing. Is there a second? Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Regular meeting. Action on minutes. I make a motion to accept the minutes from the previous meeting. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Old business, none. <clears throat> New business. Application number 2023-3 of Anthony LaPointe for a variance of six feet to a side yard to a side property line, setback for construction of a 14 foot by 20 foot attached garage to be located 19 feet from side property line at 115 Wolf Hill Road, Watertown, Connecticut, in an R70 residential zone district. Do we have do I have a motion? Motion to approve. There's a second. Second. Okay, well, I mean, he clearly has a hardship with the way this property, I mean, he's got a drop off on one side, he's got the well, the septic, and, I mean, he only had one spot to put this, and it's not that great of a, a variance, so I can understand his hardship. Yeah, I mean, I can shrink it no, down to 12 feet done. if you want, you, but. You, you can't talk anymore, oh. you're done. Um, so, I mean, is there anything anybody else would like to add? Okay. There's a motion on the floor. There's a second. All, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. You're all set. all set. Okay. Zoning Board of Appeals meeting date. You're all set, sir. Do I have a mo motion to approve the dates for 2024? Motion approved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, communications and bills. Connecticut Federation of Planning and Zoning Agencies Quarterly Newsletter Summer 2023, Volume 27, Issue 3. Uh, is there any comment on that? The only thing I there, uh, Rick, is that uh, 
they outlined the uh, state requirement for us to have four hours of training. So I was just curious, what is the plan? How did plan? we make out with that, Musa? What is the plan for the, I, I, I shared that I met with Musa, I met with uh, Mark Musaud. I went and saw him, and um, he said that the, uh, the law allows him to uh, uh, exempt certain boards from having this, uh, having this training. So oh, that's what he told me. <laughs> I'm just telling you, because I said, because I asked him, I said, geez, the newsletter that you guys provide, that somebody will they'll come for $185 and, and provide training for the whole board, and you could do us, you could do the conservation, you could you could do a whole number of boards, and I and, and I, I forget who mentioned it here, but I said you could bring other towns in, you could have Thomaston or Woodbury or somebody else, you know, all all come in, and um, he uh, he said he he told me he would look at the letter, but he also said that the way the law is written is he could exempt the training, so. It's actually recommended that we take a whole entire meeting and right. do no new business, no old business, just right. deal with old business and train. Correct. Every year. And that makes sense. Right. Yes. <coughs> yeah. And well, he's the boss. He's the boss of the building department. He's not, well, he's the state. boss of the building if department. The he's the man. It's, it, it's I think a he's statute. second selected. If it's a statute, he can't, you can't supersede a statute. I understand that. Right. You, you, you get it. I get it. <laughs> and the thing is, we were trying to make, he, well, Jeff took it upon himself, trying to make it easy to have it in one place. And right, we could have all the boards meet that night in, or day, whatever, better than us traveling, and it was cheaper, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It was less money. So, I, I don't know what happens if we don't have the training, Musa. That's the only thing I, 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 I haven't looked up the statute, so I don't know. I don't even know how to, but, you know. I think the reason that the state wants the commission members to have that training, especially for new members, that they know their authority and their responsibilities, and also every year there will be new case laws that you should know what's going on but, uh, but to what, use them when you are reviewing an application. But, but what I equate it to is, is I, I have a, an E1 electrical license, and there's a state statute that I take a four-hour class every year for my license, and if I don't, my license is suspended. I, I can no longer work. So and that, that is mean, required does for that, us. Does that, does that mean that we can no longer sit on the board? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't have to answer. I, I, but I don't know. I mean, I just, <laughs> I don't know. You should invite me that one. No, so no, there'd be no, so if that happened, there'd be no planning and zoning either. Or okay. Ones. okay, but I, I just don't know that. But that's, it, will, it could will. be the case. And if a court, if a case went to court. Right. You could be sitting there and they say, oh, none of you have any business ruling on anything. That is correct. Uh, yeah. I'm going right. to exempt myself. Cool. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I will bring this issue back to the attention of my boss and see what he says. Okay. I'm going to do that for my yeah, EMT. Yeah, tell him we're concerned. You're going to exempt myself you know, from my EMT training. <laughs> right. That's true. Yeah. I'm just going to yeah. do it. Okay. And, and for a staff also that is required, we have to get new training every year. And so many credits we have to right. get. Right. Well, the thing of it is, most of us have been at, but you got Jim, for instance, he came, he's just new. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure he can handle himself, but still, maybe he might have something that he might have a question on something, but it, or? But I, but I thought was, what I thought was interesting is, is that statement was in both newsletters. You know, there was a paragraph in both newsletters mm -hmm. trying to remind of the, and, and I think we want the training, it's just, let's bring it here, and, and. Yeah, there's no sense in us traveling. That was all. Thank and, you. And, and it's cheaper if they come here. I will mention again to my boss. No problem. Tell him if he wants That's to meet with us, come here some night, and we'll uh, we'll talk to him. <laughs> I think you need more training to talk to him. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Does he understand, <laughs> Danny? <laughs> I like how they uh, they're still bouncing around the car dealer thing. Yeah. Yep. Now it's just on the just on the, the zoning, zoning enforcement, zoning enforcement office. office that is authorized to authorized do that. To do yes. it now. Where it's yeah. how many times I'm glad we're out because that was forth between us and planning. Oh, we'll, we'll be back probably. <laughs> okay, for okay. these communications and bills, you need a motion to accept oh, and a file. Not done yet. We have another newsletter: Connecticut Federation of Planning and Zoning Agencies quarterly newsletter. Uh, fall 2023, volume 20, 
eight. Yeah, twenty eight. Issue four. Okay, now Motion that I've stated. Motion to accept them for the records. Pardon? Motion to accept them for the records. Okay, is there a second? Second. All in favor? Okay, now there's, a, now there's the big question. Is there a motion to adjourn? I'll make that motion. I'll make Second. the motion to adjourn. Second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So if, if we weren't here tonight, nothing would have got done here. Nice job, I know. Beautiful job. Hey, yeah.